didn't exactly welcome puberty. The night I grew my first pube, I cried uncontrollably whilst playing London's Burning on the recorder. But then came secondary school. Sex was like existentialism. Everyone claimed to fully understand it, but in reality, nobody had any idea what they were talking about. Least of all me. As an intellectual, I just wasn't interested in matters of the flesh. I'd rather spend an evening pondering Fermat's last theorem than receiving an over-the-pants hand job. Besides the occasional itch, I'd never even touch my own privates. But again, that was a lifestyle choice. That is, until Stevie showed up. She just moved from New York. Stevie wasn't even her real name. It was Jessica. Apparently, she'd renamed herself one day just because she felt like it. Since arriving, she had only spoken to me once, which was a relief, because any time I was within ten feet of her, I felt I might throw up and be forced to swallow it as to not look uncool. What's your name again? For a moment, I genuinely forgot. Rihan, Vladimir, Jocelyn, Lasana. What? Lasana. Sorry. Lasana. It, it rhymes with lasagna. Oh. Lasagna. Odd. I do love lasagna. I think this is what they call a microaggression. But I forgave her. I felt like I'd forgive her for anything: money laundering, vandalism. Even if she flashed my entire family, I'd forgiven her. She had power over me. It was that simple. And for that reason, I hope she'd never speak to me again. But that night, I couldn't sleep. I kept replaying it over and over in my mind. I do love lasagna. I do love lasagna. I do love lasagna. I thought, who knows? Maybe she really does just love lasagna. It is, after all, a popular dish. I tried to tell myself there are probably thousands, if not millions, of people all over the world who identify as lasagna lovers. But my body felt like the eruption of Vesuvius in 79 AD, my skeleton replaced by a mushroom cloud of ash and pumice, my bedroom swapped out for the stratosphere. Step one: set the mood. Tea candles, jazz. I laid on the floor. Outside, it rained softly, and then. Nothing happened. Step two: experiment with positions. Step three: switch up technique. Step four: how about the balls? Nah. Okay, fine. Step five: take the pressure off. Lasagna. Boil and drain lasagna noodles, gently separating any noodles that may be sticking together. 
Add half of the ricotta cheese by placing cheese dollops every couple inches. Sprinkle half the grated Parmesan cheese evenly. <laughs> Mom! At first I thought I'd gotten my period, but then I remembered my biology revision. Your mother informs me you're still a virgin. Well, don't worry. I won't be too invasive. He snapped his banjo string. Sorry? His frenula. He's torn a tiny bit of tissue. Happens all the time. It should heal on its own. He just needs to be more gentle in the future. He seems like quite a determined young man. Well, <laughs> would you like to stay for tea? Oh, that would be lovely. So, what career interests you? Actor. Doctor. He does have the hands of a surgeon. Very delicate hands. Very dexterous. Will I be okay? <sighs> Consensual, compassionate sex between two people forms a resonance. They create their own time and their own space. Whilst expanding, this universe is delicate. Pull too closely and you'll tear this world apart. Hold on too loosely and it'll fade away into the cosmos. Okay, no. What she actually said was... You'll make a wife very happy one day. And for now... Use this.